uh, analysts have downplayed the long-term positive uh, impact of the U.S. BTC ETF. Uh, instead, uh, the analyst uh, viewed the BTC ETFs as benefiting TradFi and a threat to DeFi. Bitcoin went from around 40K to a new all-time of 73.7K on the back of the approval of U.S. spot BTC ETFs. The massive flows from institutions through the ETFs have been uh, long viewed as a bullish catalyst uh, for BTC price action. Uh, however, uh, Jim Bianco, a macro investment uh, research analyst, downplayed the ETFs bullish catalyst narrative. Instead, Bianco termed the BTC ETFs as pulling the money off chain into TradFi, especially in Q1. Uh, my other concern was that these instruments would not lead to on-chain adoption, but instead drag money back into the TradFi world. Point Q1, earnings offered hints this sense might be the case. Coinbase revenue surges to $1.64 billion, but retail volume just 50% of 2021 levels. And according to Bianco, the Q1 BTC ETF trend was pulling money off chain into the TradFi world and could undermine a new DeFi system. Uh, Bianco's bearish stance on US BTC ETF contradicted Michael Saylor and Bitwise CIO Matt Hogan's positions. It, uh, for his part, Michael Saylor viewed US BTC ETFs as a way to move capital from TradFi into digital assets, fueling BTC's competitiveness. Similarly, Hogan, based on the 13 filings, noted that large firms bought 10.7 billion of the US BTC ETFs in Q1. Uh, to Hogan, the amount was a down payment, uh, and he expected more to come. And what happened, and we said from where, what is it that, to say that's the two factors for his argument, um, and having temperatures at have day of the other stock itself, and that's much a lot of uh, where we do it. And policies uh, in terms of the uh, actually complicating a must uh, uh, able to stock it. They are very small, between 2.5 for 4 percent for GBTC. A recent city report says the average ETF is about 35 percent owned by investment advisors. Uh, he also claimed that you know BTC ETFs aren't recording massive demand as expected, and the long-term impact of BTC ETFs could have been far-fetched. Um, if anything, it's concerning that the headlong rush into spot BTC ETFs only drove this price back to the old high, November 2021, and not 100K. And I would just apply as they wanted a centum and as a Rochester stander, I was documented to recognize the new consumers of the death and a comic apologize to advances the death. I saw the university Bill Gates.